The Munsterberg Plaza and Clock Tower in the town of Bern is pretty hard to miss. In fact, this prominent bit of architecture is almost transporting. Well, the tower is actually patterned after a tower in downtown Bern, Switzerland, old Bern, Switzerland. It's not a replica, but it's very close. Why would Bern build a Swiss clock tower, you ask? The Bern community was settled in 1852 by Swiss immigrants that came directly from the canton of Bern, Switzerland. Thus, the name Bern, Indiana. And in 2002 was our sesquicentennial. We, in essence, threw ourselves a birthday party. After that, the, the question lingered, and that was, is there something lasting that we could do and have from this, this party that we threw? And the, it came up with the idea. Why not a, a tower, not quite a replica, our own version of the clock tower in Bern, Switzerland, and put it right at the intersection of US 27 and Main Street. But before construction could start, the town was going to need money, and a lot of it. We have a number of people, many people who grew up in Bern, loved the Mayberry-esque life that they grew up in, but then moved on for college, for a career, but yet they wanted to give back to their community. And so a lot of our money was, uh, was raised from those individuals. And then people in Bern are just generous. And so we were able to raise a little over three and a half million dollars toward this project, all private funds. Eight years after its conception, the Munsterberg Clock Tower and Plaza finally broke ground. In the summer of, of 2010, uh, the tower itself, the base, had been constructed. It was constructed with 40 concrete panels uh, that were precast elsewhere and brought on site. But then uh, the metal roof needed to be lifted into place by a crane. Well, that was a spectacle. And so people came from all around to watch that. And uh, it was quite an event. It was, it, was, it was pretty neat to see a lot of smiling faces and excited people that day. Today, the site stands as a symbol of the future of Bern while still celebrating its unique history and heritage. Over in this area, we have the Settlers Monument. When they came here, they drained the swamps and they cut the timber to clear the land for people who live here today. Over in this area, we have the Canton Tree that shows all of the cantons, the Swiss states of Switzerland. Bern stands for bear. So we have a bear statue over there that a lot of children climb on to get their pictures taken. And what Swiss clock tower would be complete without a glockenspiel? Three times a day, the glockenspiel comes out and tells the story of Bern. There are 12 characters that are about five and a half feet tall, and they represent some part of uh, Bern. Well, we, we wanted a, a community gathering space for one thing, and this has become that. The way that the tower is built is there's a stage on this side of it and a large open space. So we have concerts here. It's been a gathering space for all kinds of things. What's interesting to me is the number of children we now have who don't remember it without this being here. And uh, before very long, there are going to be multiple generations that will never remember Bern without this plaza and this tower. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm.